Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and today we're going to check out a nice and easy to use air attack at Town Hall 15. So we'll watch some replays in just a moment before we do. Let's have a quick look at the army composition. So it's going to be five archers, five balloons, seven dragons, four dragon riders, one lava hound and one apprentice warden. Spells, two clone spells, five invisibility, a rage and a free spell. Clan castle troops, four super archers inside the battle blimp. So we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, quick reminder, on this channel we've got something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favourite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. It's easy to do. All you do is go into the shop in-game in the bottom right-hand corner. Then there's a C emblem. You click on that and enter your favourite content creator's code. So here we go. Here's our first replay. So we are going to be sending in the Battle Blimp with the Super Arches. You've got the Lava Hound to help out if you want, or you can send in the Battle Blimp through the Grand Warden's ability. Have a look which way the air sweepers are pointing. That's important, guys. They're both pointing at 12 o'clock. So we're going to send in the Battle Blimp on the right-hand side. Lava Hound first. Send in the Battle Blimp. Look for a safe spot to send it into. Then what I like to do is put down an invisibility spell first of all. Unpack the Battle Blimp into the center of it. Then use your clone spells, rage spell, and back to your invisibility spells quickly. And you should have enough time to do that. So invisibility spell, double clone spell, rage spell, and then back to your invisibility spell and your super archers should be okay. Now just try and look after them, zoom in a little bit, take out the town hall, that's the main priority, and any other nasty structures like the poison spell tower, but no, not today. So it just keeps your main army away from it. Then send in your main army away, you know, have a look where the air sweepers are pointing, don't send them in against the air sweepers, and then send them in from the opposite direction. We're using the king and queen on one side with the apprentice warden, that will help them funnel then, on the left-hand side, we're sending in the main army. Grand Warden on air mode, of course. I normally send in the balloons first, sort of to check for traps. Then send in the dragons. And then send in the dragon riders last of all. Sort of try and look where the defences are you want the dragon riders to go to. Don't send in your Royal Champion too early. Send her into the battle where it looks safe. I always do send her in too early, but obviously try and avoid enemy heroes, the king, or any any enemy heroes really apart from maybe the grand warden so the king up here doing a good job in the top corner so we're sending in some archers as well they're just there to help clean up any structures at the end of the attack dragon riders are doing great royal champion as well heroes and pets it's up to you the queen and the unicorn yeah you've got to go for that then the Royal Champion and either Diggy or the Phoenix. Diggy is probably better if you're sending the Royal Champion later and it's sort of safe and there's no single target Infernos because the Diggy will help out stunning the defences. Phoenix with the King or Frosty and Grand Warden. I mean, it's up to you, but the main ones are really Diggy and the Royal Champion and the Queen and the Unicorn. So there we go, guys. There's our first replay, a nice three-star attack. And on to the second attack. So again, can we send in the Battle Blimp using the Lava Hound? Like I said, sometimes you send in the Battle Blimp with the Grand Warden ability. But on this base, we've sent in the Lava Hound to distract the defences. And there we go. There's the Battle Blimp. Same again. Invisibility spell first of all. Unpack the Battle Blimp into the centre of it. Double clone spell. Rage spell. Back to your invisibility spells. And then just sort of take your time and count. One, two, three. Three and a half. Three point six. Three point seven. Three point eight. Then a new invisibility spell. And repeat. There we go, guys. We've taken out the town hall. You find you normally do it with the Lava Hound and the Battle Blimp. You know you're on the right sort of track if you get about 20% damage with the town hall. That's okay. So again, we've done okay there. And then it's thinking about the next stage of the attack. Where are the air sweepers pointing? Should we be okay over here? I think so. King and Queen with the Apprentice Warden again to help out. And then send in the rest of your troops. Try and funnel if you can. Put a dragon on one side or the other. Get those troops into the centre of the base. Grand Warden ability used. Watch out for scatter shots. Monoliths are nasty, of course. And enemy clan castle troops. I mean, you don't always need a poison spell. You can take a free spell instead, but it depends, guys. You know, I would say a poison spell is probably worth having uh, because otherwise you end up facing ten witches. Well, not ten witches. A few witches and about five billion skeletons. So we're doing okay here. Our troops are in the centre of the base, taking out multi-infernos. King and Queen, are they still there? Yeah, the Queen's still there with the Unicorn. And I always say this in my videos, but it's true. If the Queen is still there near the end of the battle with the Unicorn, she's probably going to have full health. So that's why it's so important. So 
because she's moving on the right hand side of the base and guys if you're new to this channel do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army on this channel i try and bring you nice and easy to use attacks spam attacks you know for the casual player like myself i'm not great at clash of clans i need easy to use attacks and at town hall 15 it's pretty difficult especially with the poison spell towers the town hall that poison spell afterwards horrible so yeah you just need to keep the main army well away from the town hall and those poison spells tornado traps are nasty as well and guys watch out for tornado traps in real life the other day i went to the shop to get some milk and bread stood on a tornado trap on the way home lost the milk lost the bread it felt like about 10 hours i was just spinning around it's about three seconds but yeah it's a level one tornado trap anyway hope you enjoyed the video today army copy link in the video description remember to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you later guys take care bye